if you are working with AI or if you are doing the vibe coding, then I suppose that this tool called Aqua Voice is going to be extremely useful. So Aqua Voice is basically a dictation tool that will transcribe your audio into text. And what's unique about this tool is that it is using AI to process your audio. So if there is any mistake on your voice or maybe there is a grammatical error, it will try to correct the mistake and the output text will be more accurate, which I think is quite important when working with AI. Now, honestly, this is actually not a unique feature because previously I have made a video covering this tool called WhisperFlow, which is the one that I'm using right now. And it will do the same thing. It will transcribe my voice and will see if there's any mistake and correct the mistake. But there are a few things that are unique to uh, aqua voice so first this tool claims to be a lot faster at least according to their own benchmark and apparently you can get things done in uh sorry you can process one request in just uh, less than one second i think 450 milliseconds which i think is very fast and uh, i think it's going to be useful for a lot of people that cares a lot about the speed but for me i don't really care too much about the processing time because at the end of the day what at least for me that's what's more important is actually the reliability whether or not it is very good at understanding my speech given that i'm not a native speaker and therefore if it can understand specific dialects that would be more useful than being fast but if you're okay with that if you actually uh, want to get something done a lot faster than I suppose that Aqua is definitely faster than WhisperPlow and I have done some testing and I can tell that it is a bit faster although not by that much okay uh, the next thing that is unique about Aqua Voice is that it has this to this feature called deep context so based from what I can understand is that it can see what's going on on the screen so when you're using it on chat gpt it will be different when you're using it on let's say cursor ai or different ai tools because the output format will be unique for example if you're using it for coding then the syntax formatting is going to be used but if you're using it for let's say uh, chat gpt or cloud then the output will be just normal text at least that's from what i can understand and of course that sounds a bit creepy because it can see the screen but uh, this is an optional tool you can disable it and secondly they promise to not sell or store the data so hopefully they are being faithful to what they say on their own website now uh, aqua voice is available for both mac and windows and actually have done some testing and let me show you uh let me show you the what the app look like how to use it and i'm going to share my thoughts about this tool so first you can navigate to with aqua.com that's the website and by the way this this is still very new and when you install the program there is a good chance that you're going to see this message basically the app is being blocked by windows defender because the publisher or the the maker of this app is still unknown again because it is still very very new and i believe they are still in the process of verifying their information on microsoft so uh, you're going to see this message and you can just click more info and then you're gonna click run anyway when you see this message but hopefully this will be solved very very soon because people might not feel uh easy when they see this message when installing a new program but based from what i can see and read from several sources it seems to be a legitimate company now when you're done installing the software you can run it and you can log in with google right now it is it, you can only log in with your google account and this is what it looked like and by the way before you can see this there is uh there's going to be an onboarding process about basically telling you how to use it what features that are available and some other settings that you might want to enable but of course you can always change the settings later now here there are several options like i can choose what keyboard shortcut that i want to use to trigger this tool right now i'm using uh, the right alt key on my keyboard i can also select the microphone and i can enable deep context this is the one that i mentioned that can see what's going on on the screen if you don't want it you can disable it and uh, the language right now there are multiple options but i'm using english there is also streaming mode which is basically kind of like this so this is the demo on their own website uh, this is streaming mode you can see the text on real time so you, you don't have to wait until the finish you can see what's going on 
in real time which may be useful and then here let me just go back okay this is the floating bar so this is the floating bar uh, you can disable it but you can keep the app to stay working uh, there is play audio open at login and uh, cloud synchronization and there's also dictionary uh, plan and i'm using the free version right now you can get up to 1000 words presumably every month i don't know whether it is every month or 1000 words that's it and will never re renew again i have no idea about that and there is instructions yeah you can send extra instructions but only available for a pro user there is history and what uh what bothered me the most is the network because right now my internet speed is not that good and therefore any selling point about speed doesn't really matter for me because my network is slow anyway so there's no point of using something fast because my network is going to be slow and therefore uh, it's not going i'm not going to see the differences but if you have decent speed then you are going to find this tool to be extremely useful and responsive okay now i'm going to do some testing here uh, i will let's say i'm going to do some testing let me open uh, let's i have a program that i want to use for a testing ground all right, so let me delete this text. So this is just some random text and I'm going to write some text, but I'm going to be using Aqua Voice. So I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut Alt and I can start some uh, say something. And there you go. So this is quite fast, I would say. And uh, it also correct my mistake. I have a problem in the middle of sentence but it was able to detect that and just remove the mistake okay how about this can you generate a website using typescript sorry i mean javascript there you go i i said typescript initially but it was able to just skip that and just say can you generate a website using javascript that's very useful this is only possible because it is using ai and i think that's going to be amazing but let me show you the streaming method so the streaming uh, the way to enable streaming is by tapping the alt key twice and then you can see the output at the bottom right here so let's say i'm going to enable streaming and you'll see in action Okay, this is a streaming mode where you can see the text output in real time. Okay, now I'm going to press Alt again to input that text to this area. There you go. So, yeah. Uh, that's the only mode available at least at the moment there is the regular mode and then there is the streaming mode and yeah i think that's basically everything that i can tell about these tools overall it's pretty fast it's also very accurate now i haven't tried other other features where you can use it for uh, coding or something else like it will understand the context of the screen Honestly, I don't really care too much about it, but maybe some people will find it to be useful. So just go ahead and visit with aqua.com and then try the software for free. And let's see whether or not it's actually something that you are looking for. And by the way, I'm planning to make a comparison video between with Aqua and Whisperflow because they look a bit, uh, they are the same, but they have some differences. And I think it's very important for everyone to understand what makes this software different. And you'll see which one is actually going to suit you uh suit your, ne your need the best but anyway that's basically it if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day